everything you know about Vapor Barrier in about three minutes. This blue line represents the outer shell of your van. The red line represents your interior shell of the van, your paneling, your plastic wall, cloth wall, whatever interior wall. The purple area is your insulation, and that area should be completely filled with insulation so there's no room for air to condensate. But now vapor barrier, green line right there against the red line, right against that inside wall. If you're going to put a vapor barrier in, that's where it needs to be. Now, if you can put in a perfect vapor barrier without any leaks, great. Reality is most of us can't. Everywhere you have a light fixture, there's a penetration through that vapor barrier. Every place you have an electrical outlet, whether it's house current or 12 volts or a USB port, there's a, a penetration through that vapor barrier. That a four by eight sheet inside a house, a four by eight sheet of wall, takes in about one third of one quart of water over the heating season. Whereas that is a four by eight sheet Whereas a one inch hole in your vapor barrier takes in as much as 30 quarts of water throughout a standard heating season of your home. So everything you cover with this vapor barrier, you're preventing this, not this. And if you don't put it, prevent this, what's the point really? Now, here's the bad side of vapor barrier. Any of this water, condensation, moisture, whatever, gets inside your wall through those leaks around your light fixtures and your power outlets, it cannot get back out. It won't find those leaks to get back out. The only chance it has is drain holes in the bottom, which are often clogged up, non-existent, or diffusion by evaporating through the wall. Don't ever put the vapor barrier in there. The little bit that gets through the leaks on a daily period can evaporate back out through your walls, through your porous material, whether it's paneling, uh, lap board, ship board, whatever you're using for wall material. You want it to be just breathable enough to let the moisture back out. You don't want it trapped inside the wall. Obviously your blue line is never going to let any moisture evaporate out. It should also never allow any moisture to get in. You do get leaks in the roof occasionally. That's going to let moisture in. If you have a plastic barrier up here on this green line, leaks get in, insulation gets wet, ceiling is protected, so you don't know that leak is there. One day all of a sudden, okay, maybe not so suddenly, but your van is going to start smelling like an old camper. Why do old campers smell like old campers? Mm -hmm.